Every data or visualization that you can see or manipulate within Steve can be exported. This video will guide you through the export options in detail. When clicking on the export icon, a dialog box opens up to guide you through the steps. This is user-friendly and only shows the options which are compatible with your dataset. So if you aren't working with a dataset containing fluorescence, then the export options for fluorescence won't appear. When working with a time-lapse file, you can choose which frames you would like to export. Either the current one, that is visible in the 2D view on the left, all of the frames, or a selected range. You can even set a stride to decide how many frames should be skipped between the ones you would like to keep. This is useful if you do not see much variation between the time points and would like to work with a lighter file containing fewer frames. You are then prompted to choose which content you would like to export. The refractive index values, the individual fluorescence channels, an overlay of the refractive index with a digital staining, a color map, a fluorescence signal, basically anything that is visualized in the 2D view on the left. Fluomix exports fluorescent channels as corresponding RGB values. And the refractive index 3D rendering exports what is visualized in the 3D view on the right. If you selected the refractive index or an overlay, you can then proceed by choosing which slices you would like to export. You can see the numbers on the slider. Either export the current one, all of them, or a range. Steve offers multiple formats to export your data. For the TIFF format, there are options for float, 8 bits, or 16 bits. The float option conserves the numerical values of the refractive index in the image, which can then be opened with ImageJ or Photoshop, for example, but not all image viewers can open these type of files. The other two options store the image without the refractive index values. While exports in 8 bits will provide a smaller file size, 16 bits provides a more precise and detailed image since it represents the range of the microscope. The option 2D TIFF is to export individual TIFF files for each slice of the Z-Stack, whereas 3D TIFF exports a single TIFF file which contains all of the slices. PNG is a standard compressed image format, and AVI is to export time-lapse movies, which is possible from a minimum of four frames. You can set the frames per second based on the speed of the phenomena you're observing, but most commonly 12 or 24 FPS are used. AVI export is good to export movies, but for image analysis, it is highly recommended to export stacks in 3D TIFF. Steve also offers an advanced user export format, RAW. This can be used to read the refractive index values for programming or post-processing in MATLAB or Python, for example. There are also options for 2D, so individual float values, or 3D, which is one continuous block of float values for each stack. The final step is to then choose a destination. There are advanced options to organize your data in an efficient manner. For folder organization, you can choose if you would like a unique folder or if data should be stored in individual folders per slice or per frame. The naming convention can also be selected based on frame number, slice, time point, or a combination of these factors. You can only click on finish if you have selected valid options with a complete file name showing up in results. The export options are conserved in Steve, so if you have multiple datasets that you would like to export in the same manner, when you open the second dataset, all you have to do is click Next without setting all of the options again.